Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Josh Sweat. I'm excited to let y'all know I'm staying in Philly for at least, you know, a few more years. And uh, I'm excited for the years to come. And uh, go birds. Hello, everyone. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. And today I will be talking Josh Sweat getting paid. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. I was just about to put out a community post that I ain't going to shoot no videos today. I was going to spend time with the family. But now I'm breaking news, Josh Sweat. Just got to shoot this really quick. And um, well-deserved. Well-deserved. I like the direction the Philadelphia Eagles are going in. Like, you see a Jordan Malata get paid instead of an Andre Diller. Now you've seen a Josh Sweat get paid instead of a Derrick Barnett. This makes sense. Josh Sweat been more productive. Um, Jordan Malata been more productive. And that's a knock on the first round picks. Um, this been our thing or our gripe as Eagles fans, right? Sorry, y'all, my work computer and junk. This been my gripe as an Eagles fan is that we get these dudes in the first round or we get the highest paid dude that either get more play time on the field or it's just unfair because they was drafted in the first round and this person was drafted in the fifth round but this person in the fifth round is way more productive than this dude in the first round why is he getting paid more than you you see the um the logic i'm going with but josh sweat was more productive than Derek burnett Derek burnett is on a one-year deal he's basically on a prove it deal and we we locking up josh sweat now because if he hit that market he's gone we locked him up early so Salute to the Philadelphia Eagles making that move. Josh Sweat had about six sacks last season. Um, you got guys like Chris Long predicting that he should have double-digit sacks this season and that he's not the best because I still give it to um, Brandon Graham, but one of the best players on our defensive line, or at least on the edge. So he, he's been highly productive. Now, his health is a thing. I'm not going to lie, but Josh Sweat is a dog. Josh Sweat is a dog, so um, well-deserved. Congratulations, Josh Sweat. I think you get about 26-plus million guaranteed. I, I, I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy. Just keep producing for the Eagles. Keep doing your thing. This makes sense. And once again, I like the direction the Eagles are going. Whoever plays the best should get paid the most and should get uh, more playing time. I did not like that Doug Peterson. He's a veteran. He's drafted in the first round. He should play. Where well, you got Travis Fogelman out playing outside Jeffrey, but outside Jeffries is on the field. Like, come on. Quez Watkins is clearly better than John Hightower, but because you picked John Hightower first, he was getting more playing time last year than the Quez Watkins. Come on. But now I, I like this direction. Whoever plays the best in this competition thing, they get on the field. Travis Fogan wasn't that good in camp. Guess what? Quest Watkins is on the field. I, I like the direction. I do. JJ Ortega Whiteside outworked the other people. He's on he he's on the um, active roster. It is what it is, but I like this direction. I like this direction, but once again, salute to Josh Sweat. But what do you think and how do you feel about him being paid, man? How do you how do you feel about this? Was this a good move? But well, this is Al Kabir the Analyst. Ghost.